Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Super Mario World by Nintendo Samurai. In this one, we are going to go after Ludwig's Castle. I think that some of these names are fairly classy, but then again, I mean, Iggy? Well, it's just it's just for fun, just to make fun of it. Oh, um, you'll get into these parts where you have to almost go through, I wouldn't call it a maze, but maybe a tunnel, and try to work it out as you go. I've got most of these fairly well memorized, so... You won't be seeing me. Ah, shit! I fucked it up already. Never mind. Memorize my ass. Um, <laughs> you won't see me, you know, taking it slow. Oh my goodness! I forgot about this. You won't see me taking it slow half the time. Okay. What you want to do is wait till it's fairly low. Press that. Dodge him. And then when it gets to the top, it'll start to come down again, and it will come all the way down. There's no way to stop that. But once you get to here, just run. There's no enemies, no fire pits. Just run like the Dickens. When you get to the end, boom. We're just going to wait for it, and then... POW! Okay, up we go. This is a good place to grind for 1-ups as well, because there's going to be lots of Koopas. I think in here is a 1-up. No, it's a feather. Oh, yay, I love that. So, this is a good place. It, it, it's probably technically a mushroom, and then a feather if you, uh... You know. You have a mushroom already. So, I'm just going to go straight up. This is probably... One of the easiest paths to take. Uh, you just go left here. Go up. Watch out for these guys because they will go around most of the time. And if you're not careful, they will get you. So. Okay, I really like this guy. Just because he's the only boss that does his battle this way. And actually, if you play the new Super Mario World, they do something similar with another one. If I'm correct. Or new Super Mario Bros. for the Wii, should I say. I can't quite remember... I know that on his battle, because he is brought back, he's on platforms doing the same thing, but he doesn't jump like that. So anyways, enough about spoiling the other game. I'm not even sure if I'm going to do that one. I might in the future, probably with one of my friends back home when I move home. Because, I mean, it, it's an awesome game. and it was. Uh, I bought it and went to his place, and he was the first person I played it with. And we had so much fun just dicking around and being stupid about it. And we killed each other so many times, like, now I can play through it on my own and I'll get up to 99 lives with no continues. We had, like, 15 continues each. And we weren't doing too bad, but we just kept killing each other. Anyways, Ludwig von Koopa's days of composing Koopa symphonies in Castle Number 4 are over. The Forest of Illusion lies ahead. Mario must use his brain to solve the puzzle of this perplexing forest. Now, in this forest, there's a lot of multiple way-throughs. I think there's only ever one thing where there isn't another way through it. Uh, and it's, like, it's very obvious which one it is. But these ones, sometimes it's just, it's stupid to do. Because you want to find the other way through, but then again, you just know it's going to be trouble. Uh, what's up there? I forget. Oh, Fireflyer. Screw that! Hit him down there just in case so I don't have him pop up on me. I think that's a Yoshi. So what I'm going to do is eat, 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 and then lose and die. <laughs> Perfect! Best playthrough ever, right? Oh, I wish I had the other star of warp point by now. But I can just go down here, so I might as well do that. It'll be shorter than even going to the other one. I think. And you get to see me go through the water again and see the fish jump and all that and see the random rock surrounded water spot that's completely calm. Okay, let's get Yoshi real quick. I don't think he can eat anything other than stars and enemies. I don't think he can eat a mushroom. I'm not exactly sure. It's not like I've really tried it, but a star just seems to be like one of those really special occasions. I mean, it, it's hard enough for you to get them, never mind your Yoshi. So... Ah, damn it! I was hoping I could do it. It's hard to do this. I was trying to show the trick earlier. You know what? Fuck it. It's not easy to do when you can't hear yourself right. 
Because, of course, as said in previous episodes, the audio lags for me, even though it's good for you guys, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, so, I mean, I can't quite tell exactly what's going on. Like, I'll jump, and then half a second later, I'll hear it. Or, like, a second later or something. Even that little bit of time throws you off a lot. Pretty much half a second, yeah. So you can't quite calculate your jumps just right. I mean, when you're watching it, you can calculate your jumps just fine, but when you're trying to re-jump, uh, doing a special trick like that, not really the easiest thing to do. So, anyways, now that I've wasted so much time just by beating the one castle and dying on the first level in the... Uh, what was this again? Forest of Illusion. Heh. <laughs> It's not only the Force of Illusion, it's the Force of Amnesia! Ah, fuck you all. Oh, that guy just died, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> ah, shit. I lost it. Well, fuck it, I'll just go through the level normally. This one's not really all too bad. It's actually kind of fun, really. Uh, here's a neat little trick. Uh, you have to... Not lose Yoshi, get back here! Aha! I'm gonna eat this bugger because he's being an ass. Okay, you have to hit that, and then what you're supposed to do is hit it like that, and then catch it. You can actually get up there, though, so really don't have to do that, but I like to do it like that because that's the way it's meant to be, right? Whoa! Yeah! You want this because this is one of the best areas to grab for lives because if you hit enough, those wigglers are worth a lot. You get, uh, after you hit the first one, you get two up each. So, okay, I'm going to not die! Shit! Okay, then, I'm gonna do the secret the way, it, or not secret, the secret exit the way it's supposed to be. I normally spit out the shell there, I don't know why I didn't. But you're supposed to fly over to here, uh, hit that, uh, wait until you're not so fluffy. That's what I'm going to call it, fluffy. Pick up the key, and do that. If you screw up, I don't know if there's a way out of there besides death. Not an advisable outcome. Okay, this ghost house does have two ways through it, even if it doesn't look like it does. I'm going to go through the ghost house first, instead of showing you that level all over again. I might even do the levels all once, and then just go through it and do it myself, but because they all have different exits, it's not really advisable. This ghost house, I think I'll try to do it the right way, and then later, when I'm on my own, I'll do it the the other right way, <laughs> the just not so right way. Okay, I'm just gonna fly over this, because I hate it. Oh, what the fuck? You're supposed to have, like, a, a fly protection thing, like if you hit something when you're flying, you're protected. I forget what it's called. Something cool. Anyways, let's go back after my frail, frail, fail. <laughs> Screw it all, I don't care anymore. <sighs> yes, your throat gets a little raspy after just talking for so long. Uh, this is, I think, my third episode in a row today, and I was just on Skype with my sister for half an hour or something. Something like that. And before that, I was on... Uh, on Steam with one of my other friends, and then I, before that, was talking to the people at work, and then before that I was on the phone with my uncle, and before that again, talking to the people at work, and then just before that, talking to my mom, and then before that, talking to people at work again. Such is the life of a security guard, you have to find something to do, and talking to people is as good as thing as any, especially since it keeps you entertained, occupied, and you get to talk to people, so you're not feeling so alone. At the place I'm working, at least there's always one other security guard with me, except this weekend I'll be working a shift where there won't be. But I mean, really? It's not that big a deal. <sighs> now that I've got two feathers and a blue Yoshi, I'm going to go back. I've never died so much in this part. Again, I'm thinking let's play Curse, plus the fact that my screen excuse me, is only what my recorder lets me see. If I was to actually be able to play this thing full screen, like what my TV is, it's a big TV, so I also use it as my monitor. So really, it's just... It'd be much nicer, 
But I'm not doing that. So, okay. Let's try this again. You always want to turn around there first, because otherwise you're going to have the booze coming after you. Not the drinking kind, the uh, ghostly killing kind. Of course, I don't really care too much for drinks. So, I mean, I'll have a cooler every once in a while, but really, I don't care about the rest of it. Down there's just some platforming with those stupid eeries, I think is what they're called. It's really frustrating, annoying, and here... I can't remember if you can fly up there and do something. I'm gonna check. Nope, you can't. Oh, shit. Give me that. It's a mushroom, so at least I'll have another hit later. The uh, problem with getting things in here is, as you can see, they come down. They'll come down more frequently later. So you have to be very careful because when you get an item like the falling feather there, you will actually pop back up when you get it. And you'll hit them if you're not, you know, if you're not careful. I mean, it's not like you can control it sometimes, but still. Okay, so, no matter what, you have to do this anyways, whether you're going the one way or the other, you have to go into here. Because otherwise you won't get to come up here and you won't get to the other exit. I'm just going to fly over top of this. Okay, so there's two exits. You go to the far one, which I think is this one, yeah. You're going the right way. If you go to the close one, you're going the wrong way. This way we'll have a three-up moon and the e exit. The other one will have the other exit. Same thing. Anyways, I'm going to end this here. I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel. Oh, yeah. Actually, no, that was the wrong way. Never mind. Anyway, subscribe to my channel, and... Yeah. <laughs> See you guys in the next one.